WWDC is less than one month away, which means that we're going to be seeing iOS 17 really, really soon. That's why in this video, I'm going to be telling you all of its expected features, release date, and most importantly, compatibility. Well, starting off with live widgets. You know, Apple introduced widgets to the iPhone, which totally changed the way that we interact with our home screen. We can see a preview of what's inside of the app. For example, the calendar, we can see our upcoming events. It is very useful. What if though we could actually interact with those widgets? What if we could skip a song on the Apple Music widget? What if we could add a calendar event directly on a widget of the calendar? There's so much potential on what active widgets can do. And that's what gets me very excited. Another feature that is expected to come is concerning with the dynamic island. You know, when Apple introduced the dynamic island on the iPhone 14 Pro, it brought a bunch of versatility on what you could do with a notch with a dynamic island. Apple hasn't really taken the full potential on what it can actually do. Third party developers still haven't really unlocked the potential that it actually has and having your app always active there for example for sports scores that you can see if you're following an NBA game you could follow it and it's always there in your dynamic island so there's definitely so much potential and that is expected to happen with iOS 17. According to the Wall Street Journal Apple is also set to announce a new journaling app for the iPhone which you could journal every day. You could track your feelings and reflect on your day. And it will actually be smarter than the rest of journaling apps. It will know how your day has been, where you've been, how active you've been. So depending on what you've done and how active you are throughout the day, it will ask you different questions to actually reflect on. It sounds interesting. I can't wait to actually try it out. The European Union is forcing Apple to allow third party downloads and allowing third party app stores coming to the iPhone. So that means that we should be expecting Fortnite to come back on and a bunch of different app stores that, you know, don't have developers as locked in with Apple. We've also had the same control center for so many years now, and Apple is expected to redesign the control center because there's also so much potential on what a control center to a phone can do. The always on display on the iPhone 14 Pro lets us turn off the wallpaper, but still look at the time. And Apple is expected to give us a bunch more features in terms of the always on display. And the same thing goes to the lock screen. We're also expecting to change the size of your time and a bunch more customization in terms of the lock screen. There's also a couple apps that are expected to have a slight redesign. Apple Music is expected to change on the way that we interact with the platform, having more minimal design changes, which is something that I'm very excited about. The health app is going to be way much more functional, which is also expected to come on the Apple Watch, which is super exciting. I feel like the health app is kind of a mess right now, and it's an app that not a lot of people use. Same thing goes to the wallet app. We're going to see some awesome changes that I've always wanted Apple to do. The wallet app will now have different categories. So if you have your cards, your cash, your keys, your IDs, or even your orders, it will all have its own dedicated space instead of just all of your cards just being mixed there. A couple more features coming to the lock screen. You'll be able to send your actual lock screen setup. It likes the way that you have your lock screen set up. You'll actually be able to send your lock screen setup to your friends. Another feature that's coming on the lock screen is live lyrics on Apple Music, which is super cool. But this view will be right on the lock screen. So we'll be able to sing along directly from the lock screen. So we won't need to go inside of Apple Music in order to sing Baby by Justin Bieber. I know you do it every single day. Don't lie to me. So according to reports, the iPhone 8, iPhone 8 Plus, and sadly the iPhone 10 will be discontinued from its software updates. So they will not be compatible with iOS 17. So in terms of the release dates, Apple is set to announce iOS 17, this WWDC, which is on June 5th. Right after the keynote, the presentation is over, we should have our first developer betas out to the world. Then later on in the summer, we should have our first public betas. And then in September, we should have the final version of iOS 17 for the entire world. So those are the most important changes that are expected to come in iOS 17. If you want to know what's coming in terms of the Apple Watch with watchOS 10, it's going to be a massive change. Tap that right there. Or if you want to subscribe to the channel, just hit my face.
I won't tell you to hit my face a lot of time, but now it's the only time that I'm going to tell you. So go ahead, hit on my face. 